so what is going on dammers my name is Meho and welcome to your 22nd angular 6 tutorial in which we're going to take a look at how to set up backend for the registration app we have been working on so far registration plus login so in this video i'm going to show you how to move to node because php um is not really my choice you can use any backend language you want, but it's, it's just up to you at the end of the day. So let's get started. Okay, so in the first part, we almost completed the front end thing, um, though a lot of work is left there as well for the data displaying purposes and editing field and all that stuff. But basically for the registration stuff, that is done. For validation, we have a basic just one check validation, but that's okay for now for debugging, for development, right? For backend, let's get started. So for the backend, what we need is, um, let's just say I go back a directory and create a server folder here, and I initialize this as an npm project i'm gonna make use of node and just a minute i'm gonna make use of node and if you don't know how to set up npm or node i have a video link in the description do check that out and you should be good to go so how to actually install how to actually set up a node server really quick so i'm just gonna install express here to serve our application and okay with that being done um, we have express in place we also need mongoose and mongo later on but express right now I believe should do our work so what I have is if I just um, open this in sublime text so inside sublime text if we take a look at this file package.json says express as a dependency i can create an index.js file here and quickly start a server so i can say express is require express and then i'm going to say my app is just the express server here and we can just say app.listen uh, what we had one two three four and uh, just console.log server listening at one two three four right and here we can define what we had for the api and that is our api slash register path so i'm just going to say app dot post api register and uh, we actually need some middlewares as well like body parser so that we can actually um, make use of um, JSON. So require body parser. And I believe it ships as a separate package now. npm install. Yep, so we have the body parser. And we're going to just make use of body parser dot json here because we're going to communicate in json with the server so app dot post um so um this gives us request and response and now if we just console dot log response dot request dot body here what we're going to see is our server so i can just quickly start it with nodemon index.js right here and we get server listening at one two three four now if i go to browser open up my console go to console here write something like mehul one two three four one two three four hit summit inside that networks tab okay there's no request going on and that is because that is because just a user okay so our registry user 
event is being called errors dot length is equal to zero not greater than zero now if we take a look again mayhole one two three one two three hit summit you see that we hit a request to register now we are not returning anything from our node server so you can see that on the server we get username as mayhole and password as one two three so what we can do is pretty much just say constant username and password that's how we are sending it right um, is request.body and then what we want to do is actually store store this data on database so um, what we're gonna do most probably is something like our user model dot save and then we're gonna pass this information and then inside our model we're gonna define a method which can work to like process data before it gets saved like if you want to hash your passwords before saving that's a good practice to do actually so you can do that so um that is how we're gonna work with this angular application and this is pretty much it for setting up the database uh setting up the back end part the next thing comes setting up the database operations so that is all for this tutorial and in the next one we're going to set up mongo and uh, um, see how to make use of it with our angular application so that's all for this one and i'll see you then in the next video and one more thing if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to receive instant notifications